Welcome everybody to this brand new series here on my channel. In this series, I will be teaching you how to get started with game hacking in the coding language C++. If you do not have any experience with game hacking and coding, don't worry, I will help everyone with getting through. In this first video of the series, I will explain who I am, why I started cheating, what we will learn in this series, and a few basics you must know before getting started with game hacking and coding. So I'm Nick, I'm 17, and I started coding in 2017, which was also the year I started my YouTube channel. How I started with game hacking is pretty fun in my eyes, and obviously I will share that to everyone. So we're traveling back in time to like 2016, where I was playing CSGO with my friend Jeff. Remember that at this point I was against cheating. So me and my friend Jeff used to play CSGO a lot with each other. In 2016 we rarely encountered any cheaters, but if we played with a cheater we always started getting really mad and we started tilting a lot in the game. The first time I encountered a cheater in a game was back in like 2011 while playing Minecraft, but that aside. So one day I was playing CSGO with my friend and he invited another friend of him. We were talking about nonsense when suddenly his friend sent a picture of him using a wall hack, which was actually just SV cheats with the draw other model command. When I saw that, I thought it was pretty cool he had that. He didn't tell me how to do it, so I did some research. And a few months later, I got my first CSGO cheat called A Bit Smarter. And I was really f***ing enjoying that. 2016 is the year I got introduced to HGH. This was the beginning for me where I started cheating. We're going a bit forward in time. 2017, the year I started learning coding. And also the year I started my YouTube channel. My first video on YouTube was a Fortnite cheat video, but actually it wasn't. Let me explain. So it was my birthday and me and Jeff were just chilling. I was watching some YouTube and suddenly I wanted to know how people make a virus. Like how is a virus made? And I came across one video of a guy explaining how to make a harmless virus, which was used to prank your friends. I made this in Notepad and it would constantly pop up fake virus message boxes and shit. Uh, it was a loop so you could only disable it by turning off your PC or by using your task manager to... Yeah, knock off the, the application. So I thought it was pretty fun. And I made a video, a fake video about a Fortnite cheat. And if people would run the batch file, they would get pranked with the message boxes. Obviously, nobody fell for it because I didn't have any subscribers. After making that harmless script, I was searching for some stuff on YouTube. And I found a program or a software called AutoHotKey. Uh, yeah, in my videos, you will see AHK. That's AutoHotKey. AutoHotKey is some sort of scripting language for macros. And surprisingly, it was really easy to use. I made a no-recoil script for CSGO, which is also one of my most popular videos on my channel. This is what opened my eyes because I got like 200 views, which was a lot for me. It motivated me so much. And that's what literally got me more and more into developing cheats and also my YouTube videos. I started with C Sharp and C++ and coded my own cheats and scripts. And yeah, eventually my channel reached 1k subscribers and I knew that this is what I wanted to do with my channel. And now I almost have 4,000 subscribers, which I'm super grateful for. I think I have enough experience to teach everyone some game hacking. We will start with the very basics and we will learn how to make cheats such as wall hacks, aimbots, trigger bots, etc. This series won't just have four videos like my previous C Sharp video. This series will probably go on for years since I also keep learning my skills. I think that's enough talking about me. I'll show the plan I made for the upcoming few videos. In the next episodes we will discuss the following points. In episode 2 I will explain how cheats work and what different kind of cheats there are. You're gonna have to learn the basics of C++ and I will help you out with finding the right resources that work for you the most. In other videos, I will also teach you how to read a game's memory and we will also learn a lot about Cheat Engine. At the end of these videos, you will master all the skills you need to start working on a simple CSGO cheat. So what do you need to start with game hacking? The two things you must download if you want to start with game hacking are obviously Visual Studio with C++ installed and a software called Cheat Engine. With Visual Studio, you can download C++ and C++ is the coding language we're going to use to code our cheats in. And Cheat Engine is a memory scanning tool. Cheat Engine allows you to access data stored in your computer's memory and make changes to that data. This allows you to change information in a game, such as health, ammo, score, lives, and the number of things you have in your inventory. 
in cheat engine we can find offsets and pointers and we will use these things to make a cheat such as an aimbot and a wall hack. Everything I'm sharing here in this series is not a virus, so you don't have to be scared of anything. If you do get any warnings from your computer or antivirus, do not worry, it's not a virus. I also recommend downloading WinRAR, Notepad++ and HazeDumper. I will use these tools in my videos too, such as WinRAR. We can use that to share files and then extract it to your computer basically. Notepad++ is a more advanced version of Notepad, so I definitely recommend using that. And HazeDumper will really help us with getting all the information we need to make a cheat because we can simply just get offsets with this tool. All the download links that you need are obviously in the description down below of this video. You can also join our Discord or add me on Discord. My Discord will be on the screen right now. Then I thank you all for watching this video and I hope you guys can learn a lot from this series. So I definitely hope you stay in touch and then I see you in the next one.